And let's start off our Thursday evening with a beautiful look at our tower cam time lapse. This one is from our home Kami Sky Cam in Grand Forks. Look at this as the sun is setting. Beautiful shot out there with those uh, few clouds out there, but then beautiful colors showing us around 815 or so when that sun is just below the horizon. And right now, of course, sir, you could see those flags did uh, calm down a little bit once those winds calm down with the setting sun. Here's how things look right now. I'll step out of the way there. This is our Valley Sky Cam in South Fargo. You can see the moon there at the top of your screen. This is looking toward Moorhead, toward the east, and you can see just a few clouds out there at this time. Looks like an airplane there on the horizon as well. And we also got this picture in from Melissa Smith of some beautiful wavy clouds. Look at the colors there. Those oranges, the reds, and those wavy clouds right there in the center of your screen. Thanks, Melissa, for uploading this one to our website this evening. The winds have really Calm down. Calm right now in Fergus Falls, 5 miles per hour in Jamestown. Windiest right now in Devil's Lake at 12 miles per hour. Straight out of the west, so yes, things are quite a bit uh, quieter out there for this Thursday evening. You can see just a few spotty clouds right now through the Devil's Lake Basin, and you did see a few of those through the FM area on our Valley Sky Cam, but really things are quiet for We're still watching this rainfall moving toward the south and east of Saskatoon. Do expect a few drips or dribbles of rain here in the overnight hours associated with this as that makes its way through our neck of the woods. But look at these temperatures, 49 already for our friends in Bidette, 51 in Thief River Falls, 48 already in Wadena, 54 in Grand Forks and in Fargo. Warmest up toward Devil's Lake where we're seeing temperatures right now at 58 degrees. So the overnight looks like this. We have those clouds moving in from the northwest coming with those uh, showers out of Saskatoon. And notice by uh, 3 a.m. already seeing more widespread upper 40s in the northern valley. And we do expect these to move through mostly the northern valley, north of I-94 as we go through the morning hours for tomorrow. So for your morning commute, could may have to use the windshield wipers a little bit there with those spotty uh, rain showers hanging on. But look at those temperatures up north, low to mid 40s in the northern valley to start off our Friday. And with that, we see more sunshine moving in once those clouds clear off toward the south and east by about lunchtime. But look at the temperatures by lunchtime, still only in the 60s. Northwest wind around 10 miles per hour. We'll keep our temperatures a little bit on the cool side for tomorrow as well. We still expect only 60s to maybe low 70s for us tomorrow afternoon. The best chance of seeing low 70s along and south of I-94 in our North Dakota neighborhoods tomorrow afternoon. But again, things look to be quiet with high pressure still in charge for us. Of course, once those lingering clouds clear off toward the south and east for our Friday and then Friday into Saturday, another cool night in store. Your hometown forecast looks like this, where you got those 60s in our northern Minnesota neighborhoods, upper 60s in the northern valley, Devil's Lake Basin, those low 70s, I-94 in south. I think Grand Forks will be just or just below that 70 degree mark and Fargo just above that 70 degree mark by the time we hit five o'clock tomorrow. So here is our photo of the day. Ducks in a row is what we're calling this one. Looks like they're out there enjoying the water and the sunshine there. Thanks, Sherry, for uploading this one to our website. So here's how things look moving into the holiday weekend. We have those temperatures on Saturday, plenty of sunshine there, upper 70s on Saturday. We're a little bit cooler, though, going into Sunday, looking like low 70s for those highs on Sunday. Could be a spotty shower here or there Sunday. Same goes for Monday, a spotty shower. Watching a cool front coming through for the second half of the weekend. Notice those high temperatures for Monday, only in the mid-60s. And that cooler air moves in for Tuesday, Wednesday mornings. Some locations early next week for those colder mornings could wake up to mid-30s, of course, in the cool spots. And then we stay in those 60s for the uh, pretty much the rest of the next business week. Those ducks on a log, they must be uh, wood ducks then. <laughs> they must be, yeah. All right, thanks.